Monitors that track infants' vital signs might actually create more problems than they prevent. But a review in JAMA says there is no available evidence supporting the safety, accuracy, effectiveness, or role of these monitors. Dr. Tara Narula has more. Seven month old Jordan Sell wasn't always the healthy baby he is today. Born six weeks early, his mother Jamie says his oxygen levels kept dropping during his stay in the neonatal intensive care unit. He was hooked up to monitors around the clock. Jordan was released after three weeks. We were concerned that um, not being hooked up to the monitors, we couldn't see his heart rate. They bought an Owlet baby monitor against the advice of the NICU nurses. We decided to go ahead and get it anyway. It was worth every penny. Devices like the Owlet are the focus of the JAMA viewpoint. Authors specifically call out smartphone linked wearables like smart socks, onesies, and diaper clips. The devices measure babies' biometrics like pulse rate and oxygen and send those measurements to parents' apps. In a statement, Outlet acknowledged a, quote, lack of evidence behind certain products, but said they are actively addressing and resolving these concerns. There's no evidence that they'll help kids, um, and there's some evidence of potential harm. Dr. Christopher Bonafide is a pediatrician and co-author of the JAMA Review. He says there's no way to prove their accuracy, and they can lead to false alarms and unnecessary treatments. They could come into the emergency room. They may end up with, uh, with blood tests. They may end up with x-rays. Because the companies don't make specific medical claims, they are not regulated by the FDA. We're not saying that we're a SIDS monitor at all. You can turn the alarm function on or off. Or Molly and Jeff Evans created the Baby Vita monitor after their twin baby girls contracted RSV, an infection that causes breathing trouble. Doctors told them to check the infant's breathing every 45 minutes. We thought, well, what happens between zero and 45 minutes. They enlisted a team of engineers and designed a sock with sensors that monitor oxygen levels and heart rate. We said that if we saved one child's life um, in being able to create this product for somebody, that it was worth it. Dr. Bonafide says while he doesn't advise it, he urges parents who do choose to use them to use tried and tested recommendations for SIDS prevention. Things like always having your baby sleep on their back and leaving nothing else in the crib like blankets or stuffed animals. Now, the American Academy of Pediatrics is also advised against the monitor, stating, quote, do not use home cardiorespiratory monitors as a strategy to reduce the risk of SIDS, one of the leading causes of infant mortality.